So at MTEC Solutions, we can either save you money by getting you converted to buy fuel natural gas, or we can double your horsepower with the Whipple supercharger and dump as much fuel as possible. So here I have a 2021 F-150 5.0 uh, Coyote engine and this truck here runs on bi-fuel, meaning it runs on two different fuels. You've seen this truck on my previous videos when we first picked it up about three months ago or so and this truck officially runs on natural gas. This is a bi-fuel setup so you can either run on gasoline or natural gas. However, this is a little bit different than the 6.2 um, F250, F350 conversions that we do. Um, this truck here does not come with a switch, so you can't flip the switch and switch from fuel to fuel on the fly. Um, we just figured it wasn't necessary in this uh, particular case because the way this truck runs is if you have natural gas, um, in your tank, which this truck has about 1800 psi left, so about half a tank or so, um, it will run on natural gas until the natural gas runs out and then it'll switch over to gasoline automatically um, while you're driving or parked, idling, whatever you're doing, it'll switch on its own. So that way, when you convert a truck to run on natural gas, you're spending money. On the kit on the installation and everything like that this way you'll run on natural gas as long as you're able to fill it up um, which as far as filling up there's stations everywhere there's an app that you can look up and um, find stations there's at least four stations in my area here we're about to make a stop and just top this tank off and um, and uh, go from there so this is a 21 f-150 crew cab XL but it is it does have the driver package or driver assist package so it has the tow mirrors and um, has lane assist blind assist crash assist natural gas assist <laughs> so it's got it all um, it's not bad for XL so let's stop by a CNG fuel station and go from there so to find the natural gas station in your area, all you have to do is download the app called Alt Fuel, and you can put in your zip code or search in the location near you and see. I just pulled it up on my phone and there's four stations um, nearby within you know, 10, 15 miles. One of them being um, one right here. And uh, look at that. It's $1.85 a gallon. Last time I filled up um, gasoline, it was over $3 here. And then last week I was in Portland, Oregon, it was way over $4 a gallon. And it's just gonna go up from here, I think. It's not gonna go down anytime soon. So this is the best time to convert. So check out MTech Solutions and uh, get your conversion done ASAP. Everyone says that electric is the future, but if you have no patience like me, you probably don't want to sit there and wait, you know, 30, 40 minutes to charge your car. And that's a fast charge. So 30, 40 minutes, you know, every two, 300 miles, you have to charge your car. Where in this case, <clears throat> if you get the CNG system installed, biofuel, 
this truck here will make it up to a thousand miles without filling up at all you fill up a full tank of gasoline you fill up a full tank of natural gas and you're set for a thousand miles you know and like i said i don't have patience to stop every couple hundred miles and sit there and wait for charge yeah if you have to stop once or twice a day that's one thing but if you're on a road trip and you know that's a wasting time to me so this is the option to take um, as far as alternative fuel I think this to me this makes more sense than um, electric car yeah electric cars are cool I have nothing against them but electric cars are for like local driving I wouldn't mind getting an electric car like a Tesla or even the Mustang Mach-E those are pretty cool for local driving like just to get up and go to work and come home put inside your garage and plug it in like a cell phone and let it charge overnight yeah I think that's cool but I take a lot of road trips I go up to Michigan sometimes once a week sometimes twice a week it's just um, I'm all over the place so electric car does not work for me <clears throat> as far as you know for traveling and stuff like that but you know to each their own so um, there's not much to show under the hood but I will pop the hood and show you um, there's just um, some billet rails and a set of eight injectors um, it is direct injection for both um, obviously for gasoline and TNG so um, let's park over here and pop the hood and see what we got all right so once again 2021 f-150 5.0 liter um gen what is this is this is a gen 4 coyote it's hard to keep up but so there's uh the billet rails one on each side there's your pressure sensor um and there's a, a natural gas speed line that's a low pressure line this truck runs at about 100 psi at the rail so all the high pressure is basically like i talked about in my other videos uh, all the high pressure is in the back of the truck it is right here um you can get this toolbox this is a five and a half foot bed so the biggest tank we install on this setup here is an 18 gallon tank and um, this is where your fill is that's your gasoline fill and this will be your natural gas fill and so if you get a toolbox option upgrade you do have a little bit of storage space still here so right right under this here there's a tank and it's an 18 gallon tank so it's not big but it's plenty uh, this being a bi fuel that's plenty i mean um to, to be honest that's more than enough but usually if it's a six and a half foot bed or eight foot bed we usually offer the 21 gallon tank and so this is a high pressure tank um the the fuel fills there the lines they go underneath the truck there is a quarter turn shot off about halfway right under the driver door this is a safety thing even though it's low pressure but in case of fire a uh, firefighter or whoever can just reach underneath and there is a, a quarter turn valve that you just flip close just so there's no natural gas flowing even though when something does happen the electronic solenoid on the tank itself actually shuts off so there will not be any natural gas flowing either way but every safety thing counts and you know things happen so you gotta have the safety features as far as towing goes i'm sure some people will be wondering about towing um that's like one of the top questions i get when i post a natural gas vehicle video um, I didn't tow with this one just yet because it's only got 1300 miles and I haven't had a chance to hook up a trailer to it but I did tow with the 2018 2019 and 2020 5.0 bi-fuel setup and I actually towed a car cross country back in 2019 um, two Whipple superchargers and 
there wasn't any power difference issues or anything like that when i didn't have cng um it didn't have a little bit more power but once you run out of cng you do feel a slight um slight loss in power but it's not like crazy noticeable like if you didn't know you wouldn't even feel it it's just i drive these all the time and i can tell a little bit of a difference but you know it's just because i was towing a flatbed trailer with a shelby gt500 in the back so that being said there's really no power difference um to even talk about the performance wise it's you know amazing if you do have an issue on the natural gas side obviously you're gonna have a check engine light and you will have a p code you know p0 or whatever like if your solenoid is um is out or one of the injectors is not functioning properly which we use bosch injectors for years and we really didn't have any problems with them so as far as injectors go i think we're all good and um it's an awesome truck so definitely if you're trying to save money on uh, fuel and you drive a lot this is a great option driving i just brought this truck from detroit michigan last week and i mean this thing drives amazing uh, trucks are the way to go trucks suvs they're just awesome if you have any other questions about natural gas or how these systems work please let me know and follow me on instagram where i post some things that i don't record but check out mtechsolutions.com and uh, get your trucks converted so at mtech solutions we can either save you money by getting you converted to buy fuel natural gas or we can double your horsepower with the Whipple supercharger and dump as much fuel as possible um, at a time. So check out Amtech Solutions and um, follow me on Instagram. And um, until next time, later.